guys you're welcome to our channel yes this is the last episode of our long road trip all the way from Enugu to so, Benin we are so excited i think we're officially halfway right yes we're halfway so we're living as Saba in a gp oh we're living as Saba already not in a gp we're living as Saba already to Benin we had a brief stopover and guys we got to see a part of our Saba we've not really visited Alain TV, do well to click the subscribe button, also turn on notification bell to be part of our big family. And for returning subscribers, thank, thank you, you so much. much. We really do appreciate your love for our channel. So currently we're in Asaba, and like I said, it was just a two hours, barely two hours drive from Minogu to Asaba because the road are extremely good now. And uh, though there were a lot of police traffic on the road, traffic caused by police and military personnel but nevertheless we still maintain about two hours to navigate ourselves from uh, Enugu down to Asaba so let's see how long it's going to take us to get Benin I project another two hours but let's see if it will be less than that maximum is two hours for me so guys let's go I think Asaba is really developing, you know, we just passed the airport taxi and we're still down. I can, you know, the roofs I'm seeing, just by, uh, even both left and right, it's very obvious that the development is moving so fast out of Asaba main town towards this direction. And so the development is fast. So I think real estate agents are really doing a great job around there. The estate management people are doing a great job is being done around this uh, around this axis so that was impressive that was good to see so if you have money you can come and invest in Asaba to be a very nice investment so the road has been cleaned let's hope that this is how it is now to get to the end. I know there are some spots that are that is bad around the mini axis so we'll be checking out if there is anything different on those parts <laughs> let's keep going so far the road is clean and uh, this used to be one of my best roads or my best travel routes because of the because of the dual carriageway you know it just gives you a little bit of safety we are not scared of an incoming vehicle on like a single lane road so it makes it a little bit more comfortable to drive but let's hope that the road is still as clean as it used to be before. So let's keep the ride going till we get to the next city. So if I'm going to pass through your community in any way, either in Delta State or in a dual state, do let us know in the comment section that oh, you pass through my community. So we'll be looking forward to your comments on that. So guys, we are currently at ECA local, local government of Delta State. Yeah, the road has been awesome. Nothing, uh, nothing much to say till we get to the Edo State axis of the road. Uh, ECA local is where we have the orientation camp for NYSC. Yeah, if you have seen our video that prepared to come for NYSC and Delta State is your place. Uh, I just know that it's at ECA local. ECA local is just before Asaba if you are coming from from Lagos to Benin. So if you are coming from the east, it's after Asaba as you are going to Benin. So, but not a far distance at all from Asaba. It's a very close distance of about 20 to 25 minutes drive. So that's where Siluku is located. So great. So if you are from Siluku, do well to, to break your hood in the comment section. You know, let us know you are from Siluku and you get to see our video really appreciate that from you and also if you are from delta state let us know what your governor is up to in your state a lot of visibility news right here and there so if you are in worry if the project has taken flesh in worry also do 
let us know as well in the comment section. So let's keep it going. We'll be getting to our just like that. We'll progress to put down the likes. So let's go, guys. So the journey has been great, and uh, the road has been awesome like this. No much, uh, no traffic at all, and no potholes. And those who are enjoying our drive, and you can hear their voice at the background. They've been sleeping since they all just woke up, and uh, we are all voicing the video together and enjoying the trip together with you guys. So we are still in Delta State Axis and then we have been driving for about 30 minutes now since we left the server. So we in Agbo, after Agbo, we are the Delta State Axis of the journey before we take it down to Benin City. So let's go guys and uh, touch down at the state. So you remember those states that you are watching this, we are coming to your cities. If you have recommendations for us, do well to drop it in the comment section. We definitely pay visit to get out of those places. And you can also recommend our page to your loved ones who want visibility in the public space as well. We also are available to collaborate with any of such brands around the city so guys let's go so guys um, i'm trying to remember the name of this community in my head so normally most commercials often stop here to get uh, uh what's it called banana they often stop here if you observe trailer presence when they are coming they want to sleep at night this is where they often stop so and they said banana, but I'm surprised that they are not that not along the way today. Is that uh, banana is scarce or planted chip is also scarce? This used to be one of the spots to stop when you're going on a long road trip to snack or something. So I'm trying to remember the name of the community. Umunete, thank you very much. This is Umunete. This is just before Agbo, so Agbo is just up in there as you can see ahead of us. So this is from the Nede community. So we have a stop they have some market you can buy yam, curry, wire, yogi. So those coming from Lagos to the east of the top here to do some little shopping before it's a good stoppage point for most travelers. So let's get into Agbo in the field. So guys, it's it's very appalling. You know, we've been saying this for a while now. Coming right from Enugu, the rate at which police is causing traffic with this their checkpoint, putting wood, putting tires on the road, just delaying vehicles for God knows how long. Now, uh, they are about clearly one lane for us to go. I don't know the incident that has occurred with them in front. You see the very big trailer that was just coming at is... high speed for her to like. Have a brief, uh, like it's, it's, it's just crazy. Eh? <laughs> so they had to remove one of the tires. It's just crazy how they just delay people unnecessarily. But let's continue. And now we just passed one. Let me top flip my camera. You see another checkpoint. Not even up to two poles. This is another checkpoint in front already. And you get to find out that this is still happening on this team too. This is another checkpoint. Makeshift checkpoint that they just put on the road. Eh? Within the same they are seeing themselves. So who, which chief wants to come in between them and catch and put somebody on the road? It's quite sad to see, but it's just what it's what it is. You know? So the one from Enugu to Oka is very worst. That one is bad. Very, very bad. Why is all good? So let's continue our ride. To Agbo. So guys, we are in Agbo, Delta State. Yeah, Agbo is one of the most popular towns in Delta State. Yeah, so this is Agbo. Uh, we just said that Agbo from Asaba now. So we'll continue our journey to Benin. So after Agbo now, we we'll get to Oga. I don't even know if Oga now is a double Delta. Oh guys, like a border. 
is the border town between the Delta and the Do. So we'll get to that soon and we'll cross over to we'll cross over to Edo State. So let's keep it going guys. We are getting closer to our destination. So Edo State is not far. So if you are from Agbo, do well to rev in the comment section. Agbo is a very busy town. If you get in there, they are known for their ladies bike. <laughs> Lots of ladies bike within the city. Like you have to be extremely careful when driving in Agbo because the bikes are everywhere. So guys, let's continue our drive to Benin. So we are leaving Agbo now. We are about crossing over to Edo State. We are leaving Osa Nogo. So you will see goodbye from Delta State. Welcome to Edo State in AGV. Yes, we are leaving the the big hearts for the heartbeats. So, here it is. Farewell from Delta State. Bye. Well done, sir. Thank you, sir. Boy, how are you? Sir, fine. Well done. Oh, bang, I talk by you. Sir, so we are live in a new state. So we are getting closer to home. So Benin City is not far again. So I think this is Oga now. So Oga is in Edo State and not Delta State. So Edo people, Marineo, we are home already. So let's take it down to Abudu, Abudu down to Bawa, Koneki. Just like that, to get to Okwae. Uh, just like that, to get into Benin. So let's go, guys. Yeah, welcome to Abudu. Yeah, Abudu is the local government headquarters for Oriomo. Yeah, one of the biggest local government as far as the state is concerned. So this is Abudu. I was born and raised here. So this is where I was born, this is where I was raised, so it's a town I'm very much familiar with and used to before we located to, to Benin, so very, very far, <laughs> some years back. So this is Uriomo, local government headquarters, Abudu. So if you're from Abudu, shout a big shout out to you, and if you're seeing our video, you are to read in the comment session that you are seeing our videos. So let's keep the drive going to get uh, into Benin City. Let's observe the, the spot. They said it's very bad. So palliative work has been done on that axis. So all of that will be checking out by the time we are going, we are going into Benin. So if you have stayed with us till now, a big shout out to you. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much. And if you are watching for the first time, seeing our video for the first time, do want to click the subscribe button, turn on notification bell to be part of our family. For returning subscribers, thank you so much. We really do appreciate your love for our channel. So let's get into the beginning. We're going to pass through your community in those states. Also, do let us know in the comment section. Is it is it a Budu? Is it Oka? Is it Opa? Is it Uwe? Anywhere you are from, we are passing through Opa, all of those places. Just let me know, pass through your community. So guys, we'll continue to drive all the way down to the name. I think this is part of the session that is not good on this uh, in the axis of the road. So, well, I think we have followed the wrong path. Let me gently come down here. I think I'm supposed to have dropped down since. Yeah. Well, thank God my car survived the height of that space. So, uh, 
That was one of the sessions that is bad coming to Benin. I think that's a very bad dish for anyone who is not familiar with this route. At night, that is a very bad dish coming at a very high speed. You know? So it's very deep. So I think uh, you can help share the video so that relevant authorities or those in charge can get to see it and make the quality work. Let it be done there first to avoid the tragic incident. So we'll keep it going. So that's the first bad spot we are seeing all along. The road has been smooth and the journey has been smooth. Very good. Let's keep it going, guys. So, guys, very soon we'll be in the next city. So, we've been dodging quite a lot of potholes, like I mentioned earlier. Here's just a quick advice to as many who intend to use this road. Especially if it's your first time driving maybe from the east to Lagos or from Lagos down to the east, I would advise you apply serious caution around the Edo State Axis. In fact, generally, caution is to be applied, but pay attention to the road. You know, if you are... If you are... Pay attention, you can see what just happened now. Pay attention to the road if you are around the Edo State section of the road, because a lot of potholes, just like this one, I saw a trailer coming, I had to just Wait for it to come and do his thing and go. But I didn't just want to force myself in there. So those are some of the things you experience. But beyond this, there are some potholes, very sharp potholes that you need to be dodging. So if you are not paying attention to the road in particular, you might just run into either of them. So attention needs to be paid when we are around the Edo State axis of the road. But comparatively, it's a fair road. You can run on it. It's not like a labyrinth road, I must say. You can actually run at a good speed on the road, but just let your eyes be, be on ground so you don't uh, jump any of the potholes. So that's just a brief update, guys. So let's wait till we get into the name and see how the bypass axis is currently in Benin City. <laughs> Um, so guys, no much difference. Nothing has changed. This spot has been like this for a very long time. I think even when I came to be in December, this spot was like this. So when I said some palliative work has been done, well, I was expecting something good. But here it's still like this. And I think the green lock at that time that was happening around me also came up, came down to this side as well. So I'm quite surprised. That the spot is still like that. So let's keep it going into Benin and see if the ones closer to the bypass have been have been done or ratified. So check out that very, very soon. So this is just an example of what I told you. So you need to pay keen attention to the road. So let's get closer, closer, closer. So guys, we are entering Benin now. So this is the bypass axis that we are now. So because of our location, we are not going to drive down towards Apple Park Ramat. So we are going to be bringing the video to an end just at the bypass axis. As you can see, there's no green lock, no traffic, free flow of movement, and uh, the part that is bad, we'll see pretty soon. If we're still going to swim that, but they say palliative work. So I can see this is a palliative work. Stones poured on it, and uh, just to make it smooth for cars and the trailers to pass so trailers don't get to fall again. So that is the work done on the road. So to our right, if you climb up, we are going straight down to. Lagos and to our left takes you down to us Wari Saple Road Bypass. You know, we have bypass across major roads in Benin. So we are going to be going towards the Wari 
sad player will cry for a sexy. So the point to us are left of making a turn under just after the, the bypass. So just some galletti work as you can see. Yeah, stones poured and some granite poured just to make it a little bit smoother. Uh, it's better than what it was before, but this should not be the permanent solution to this place. So help us share so the current people who are handling this piloting work can also come back and do the complete task. So welcome to the capital city of a Edo State, Benin City. Babes, how do you feel you in Benin? I feel hungry, like I want to eat Yamalo. I can't wait to eat that as well. So we have been in, we have been in our Benin people. So if you are seeing our video, we are live in your city. So do well to link up with us, do well to link up with us. So if you are new to our channel, you are welcome to Alin TV. We are your favorite travel family. And uh, for your returning subscribers, thank you very much. We look forward to your comments, to your thoughts regarding this road trip. You can see that this one is very bad though. This uh, coming from Agbo Park side is very bad. So we look forward to your comments, to your thoughts in the comment section. And if you've ever used this road before, also do let us know in the comment section. So I think the part coming from, from Agbo Park is more uh, it's very bad compared to coming from uh, Asaba. So that is it, guys. That is the update on the current. Uh, that is the update on the road coming from Asaba to Bini. Thank you so much for joining us. What do we say to them? We'll catch you guys. In the next video.